Hello everybody, uh, did you remember these two boys? Here's Michael Mark. Yeah, uh, the last video that I told you about these two boys, they have the grandma getting sick and they come out here to pick up recycle and then I gave them five dollar for each boy they're so happy now they tell Putak about their grandma and they take Putak to see their grandma how their grandma doing so this uh, the little boy look at him at they have no future no school no changing life in the future is no hope at all but uh, I just try my best to work with my team Putak and Puwat at Cambodia so I live in the United States yep I always say I'm Cambodian so I used to go through all those situations since I was nine years old and working the labor job like this boy really hard whatever is around me so I just try to work and earning some income to make my living that's why I still yeah, remember that and I am a refugee I live in the Thai border got interviewed by UNHCR to get me to the United States and sponsored by Church World Service and I really appreciate and thank you very much for their help. I still remember that but right now I'm in the wonderland, I'm in the opportunity land so I have to look back and help them back. You see like same thing like UNHCR and help me and then now time to help the other like one word i still remember jesus said don't get tired to help the other when time is right you will be rewarded as long you don't give up yeah in my heart i will put that word into this video and post it and share to all in the world just don't get tired to help the other when time is right you will be rewarded and as long you don't give up so a uh, good deed you do will get it you know the law of the karma cause and effect whatever you do you will get it back you know come around turning around so here's uh, their grandma her name is Jumri and she is 71 years old and she has three cats but one cat is in you know, the other location so she still have two daughters with her but they work pick up recycle they earn about 10,000 real to 20,000 real and 4,000 real, it changed to be a dollar, one dollar. So they like it hard and Putak went there and asked her some question for her real life and what really going on. Yeah, uh, their daughter still working and every day to pick up recycle and her life really hard for raising seven grandchildren and she is 71 years old and uh, she getting sick too because her leg getting numb she cannot do anything that all she can do um she went out there to washing the dish and this she earned about ten thousand real two dollar fifty a day and she take those money and to help that boy and her grandchildren, seven of them. And some of these children, boy and girl, go to school. 
But uh, right now, they're skipping the school, too. Because the school is flooding. And she has no money to go to see the doctor that buy her health condition. It really hard and harder. And she didn't have money to pay for the rent for two months already, each month. be American dollar is thirty dollar a month but right now she owed them two months already but she have nowhere else to go and because she just try her best uh, to earning some money even she getting old too and her husband just left her you know left the kid behind for her to take care of them it's so hard for her uh, she old too. She just uh, keep crying, and she is so sad. But what else should she do? She working hard since she was young to raise those children. But uh, like I always mention about generation to generation, and if her generation still do not breaking through for the poverty life. And then the next generation, her son, her daughter is still the same. But after that, her granddaughter, now that their home and their generation is still poor. But even she, right now, she cannot read. But uh, she said she tried to work really hard, do her best to send her grandchildren go to school. Don't be like her because she really blind, can't read, can't get any education. It's a hard situation for her. But uh, uh, right now, she's just working, washing the dish, get about 10,000 reels a day, American dollar, $2.50. So it's hard, just everything around uh, going up, really expensive, even everything. And Later on, she just doing something, you know, that can help. But I hope uh, she doing well for everything, and she got some truly flesh for uh, her good deed, her be honest and loving all those children, her grandchildren, and still take care of them. Yeah, I know life is hard, but I'm here. I just try my best always to helping them somehow. That's why I make this video to post it out there, spread to the world. It probably people see this video and then they want to help. If you guys want to help, please leave the comment. We will get it from there. So I didn't have anything to put for you to deposit for donation yet. But just wait until get some answer. It's the comment that people receive it, people believe in it, whatever we do. I got my team at Cambodia, so I'm here, two of them put talk and put watch it on the field. So I'm here to try to have some uh, fundraising and spread all this information to let everybody see it. So this is real life. But I'm so lucky to get to the United States. So my generation is breaking through to this poverty life. So uh, my kid getting better life will my new generation in the United States. Right now, I have two grandchildren, one boy and one girl. So my grandchildren will be better than her, a lot of better. Nothing compared to whatever the situation at Cambodia, but I'm 
in the United States, like the land of opportunity, always opportunity, no matter what. They're having school 12 years, and they be able to go to college to get some education, to get a better job. And then they get more opportunity for everything, and they have enough food, they have enough clothes, they have good shelter to stay with and nothing to worry about, it nothing to be stressed. But what about her? Yeah. The grandma Jo Marie, seventy one years old, she's so much stress, depressed, despair, you know, like everything that bad it just come to her because surround no job available in Cambodia. Even the labor job and you go walk the day, you dig the dirt, you cutting the grass, you cutting vegetables to do something. Whatever the job available, she do all, but uh, still have no job available. And make her poor and also the income is really, really low. It under five dollars a day, you know. What are uh, they going to do? And she said, uh, nothing I going to complain about it. You know, I be patient and face with this hard situation in my life. But if I complain, nobody can help me either. So I have to struggle, I have to be strong to do that. But uh, I'm old, but I feel so sad about whatever my daughter and my son right now is for my grandchildren is still not better. I don't know what to do, but it's nothing I can complain. In here we have inequality. It's not only in our country, but the other is the same, nothing to be equal. If we are poor, nobody cares about us. And I like to do whatever I do, and uh, that's the way it is. Nothing else I could complain. I really appreciate for you come and help me out, and can help me a little bit. So uh, Putak, he brought twenty-five dollar donate by Paul and Janti, the husband and wife to give to her $25. A $25 in Cambodian money is $100,000. So it can help her a little bit, but it's not a whole lot. I hope this video will come out and people can help her more, you know, to, to be better for her rent the apartment because she had no place to go, and here in uh, the city, and the land very, very expensive. You know, like, you don't think about a couple thousand to buy land, no way. They go up really, really high to be a hundred thousand dollars. You know, it's ten thousand dollars up, so you got a little land to live. But in no way, if the land now is right up, very, very expensive. Uh, the poor cannot afford it. Only the other thing, it probably have some sponsor to help her out to move out of here and to live in the, the countryside and it's a little cheaper so uh, they can survive because the open field, I mean the right field, they have a lot of food. So you can go out there and show you the food. You can see a lot of video that I show you guys, they have nothing because they, they go to the right field, they go fishing, they go looking for crab, they're looking for snail, looking for everything. You know, whatever the food available. So they take it to the local market, like the flea market, you know, sell them some money to raise their kids, to help their family, and even they can exchange for the rice. And we eating rice, so we're not eating bread, but whatever available, we just eat them, yeah, anything. So Putak 
uh, give her twenty-five dollar can help. Yeah, maybe the second time she get more. Yeah, for because people see this video, and then they go into help her out. And how can we find her? Because that boy, did you remember that boy go pick up recycle, and then. He told us about her grandma, that cute boy, his name is Makara. I feel so much sad and sorry whatever his life, but I just do the best I can to helping him. This part is in the protect when there. So uh, this is episode three. We'll be continue on this video. We got some donators donate to helping her, but we went out there a little late and she got kicked out from that apartment. But uh, the other night people, her neighbor let her stay for temporary with seven grandchildren here. And Putak went there, will help her to rent apartment because some people feel so much compassion and sorry for her to help her out about the new apartment and what is going to happen to her life next. Please stay tuned for the episode 3. Thank you for your watching. So if you guys like this video about her real life, please share this video. If you would like to support, please subscribe and don't forget to click notification bell to get new video upload every day at 6 p.m. at Central Time. So I just try working hard to post these videos every day to continue the stories of the poor, the poverty life. Hi right, guys, uh, thank you for your watching and thank you very much for you were like you. Please stay tuned for the episode three for her life and her family to be continued. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now. You guys have a wonderful day.